Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad that you're enjoying the content and I am getting a lot of feedback and comments on the channel, on my email and on personal DMs. I really appreciate you taking time out and I hope you are enjoying the content which I keep making every week. Let's take it up to a next level. Today and in many past years, there has been a conventional wisdom that AI and other technologies surrounding it has been very good at making data-driven decisions and skills like creative and cognitive, there is still far out. However, things are changing and in the recent past, there has been significant development, specifically in the last two years, in the entire space of natural language processing. Platforms like OpenAI have been building these base platforms called GPT-3 has really evolved and taken the entire open-ended coding or open-ended text management and developing different methodologies and different mediums to enhance the entire ecosystem of driving cognitive and creative skills to the next level. However, before we talk about NLP and the entire ecosystem of GPT-3, let's understand the entire ecosystem of text and how does text gets managed in the entire AI space. Today, NLP, which is natural language processing, is far well-known topic and many people leverage it here and there. But actually, there are three phases which a text needs to be processed or leveraged or reused depending upon the use cases. The first being the NLP, which is Natural Language Processing. The name itself states that you are able to take a huge amount of text data and process it, and that's why NLP. However, NLP is not only enough when you're thinking about open-end text coding. You also need to look at how you're able to understand and decipher the insights or the knowledge which exists within the entire text. That's called the Natural Language Understanding, which is NLU. And last but not the least, if you want to take your open-end text processing and understanding to next level where you're able to generate text, that's called NLG, which is natural language generation. So NLP, NLU, and NLG are the larger parts of natural language processing ecosystem. And today there are sciences being involved in all three dimensions to really speed forward and enhance the entire NLP space. So what can NLP really benefit you from? Today, open-end platforms like GPT-3 are not only able to understand, but are able to predict and prescribe text based on the preceding text. So imagine if you want to write a blog, if you want to write a content, if you know how to process the data in GPT-3 with very few basic schematics or dimensions, GPT-3 models are able to go ahead and write an entire blog or a Facebook post or an Instagram post or write your product content. That's how powerful these open-end platforms like OpenAI, which is funded by Microsoft, is really evolving the entire text analytics processes and the entire ecosystem to a different level. It's also started in the scope of reasoning and today researchers are leveraging platforms like GPT-3 to do a lot of reasoning and try to decipher the different dimensions of science and the world by leveraging the platform, which is able to process huge amount of data in minute seconds. Today, the ecosystem is evolving. It's not just OpenAI and GPT-3. Google's platform called DeepMind is also bringing in a lot of newer scope and reasoning capabilities within its ecosystem. Other platforms and small time players like Ott, which has developed a platform called Elasic, which is able to do a lot of similar capabilities leveraging the base platform like GPT-3 and many more to drive specific use cases within the industry. In addition, Hugging NLP is also another platform which has created an auto NLP layer to allow you to drive auto tagging of your text data. Companies big and small are developing capabilities to enhance the entire natural language processing ecosystem further and further. However, the NLP layer is still far out because today much of the research and innovation is happening on English as a language. There are many other languages where NLP today is still not that proficient enough because when you think about text as a dynamic, languages are of three types. There is single byte, double byte, and triple byte. Typically languages like Arabic, Sanskrit, Mandarin, Cantonese are triple byte languages. They are harder to decode and harder to process versus a single byte language like an English or a French which are able to go ahead and process faster and quicker. And there is a lot of metadata available within the ecosystem. And hence, you see the advantage and processing happening much more quicker. In other languages, like I mentioned, double byte and triple byte, it's still far out. And platforms like GPT-3 or many other are still trying to catch up with the other languages. So how can organizations be ready and adopt 
this ever evolving space because experimentation and putting funds for experimentation is going to be tough well you cannot underestimate the impact which nlp and lp technologies can drive within your organization it is important hence when you're thinking about your ai initiatives nlp should be critical and should be really a linchpin and a critical area where you invest your money and your energies behind that more so language tools are here to stay and they are not going anywhere and hence my personal advice to each one of you it is critical that you start dabbling into platforms like gpt3 and many more platforms like these to understand the capabilities and leverage it in your day to day or in your organization initiatives as the world evolves around the nlp space thank you and do not forget to subscribe to my channel that motivates me to bring such content every week to you and hence my effort is how do i think about what you are looking for on a day to day basis which helps me to bring such content if you have any such feedback for me on the type of content you would like me to double click on please do leave your comments in the comment section or send me an email which is there on my channel and i'll be happy to bring those content to you take care bye bye